What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update of something that was on my mind today. And what I want to talk to you about in this crypto space is specifically going off price action and not just indicators alone. One thing that I've learned and I wanted to talk to you guys about in this space is Bitcoin or any of these cryptocurrencies on the one day chart can get so over extreme to both the upside and the downside. We've seen Bitcoin's RSI before at eight on the one day chart, which is just absurd guys because obviously in terms of technical books anything under 30 is going to be that oversold conditions and we've seen it down around six eight before on the one day chart so things can get extremely negative to the downside and we can also see it before where we've been up in the 90s on the one day for bitcoin and that rsi just keeps chugging so what i want to bring to you today is to specifically look especially in this space that we're in the cryptocurrency space, really look at price action and watch those candles and pay a lot of attention to support and resistance. Do I use the RSI and these indicators? I do, but that's a secondary. That's probably fourth on my list before I go through trend lines, support and resistance, candlesticks, volume. What are the candlesticks doing at support and resistance? Are there reversal patterns taking place? That's the stuff I like to pay attention to. When I first got into this space, if I saw anything, say I'm in a trade and I see the RSI get up to 70, I would sell out because I knew we were getting in that overbought territory. I'd take my profit. And now what I've learned is to be more patient and to use those trailing stop losses behind as the price continues to go up, give it enough room and just slowly chase it up as the price is moving. And then if the price comes down, you get stopped out. It is what it is. And when you talk about stop losses, what you have to realize, there's going to be times when you get wicked out, guys. It's happened to me. It's frustrating. You'll get wicked out. Then the price will go the other way. But you have to look at stop losses as basically an insurance policy. The insurance policy you have a 24-hour market when you go to bed at night you don't know what the people in japan or asia or whatever are going to do while you're sleeping it during the night time and it basically just gives you that reassurance of you're not going to lose 50 percent of you know what you've done or, or your account 50 percent of your account in the matter of one night which we've seen bitcoin before it can go up two thousand dollars in the matter of an hour it can go down two thousand dollars in the matter of an hour so give it 24 hours it can do anything and that's where you always want to protect yourself capital preservation is the number one thing in this space and like i've talked to you before in some of my other videos what you have to do you have to think about capital like soldiers you send your soldiers out into battle and what you want to do you want to retain all the soldiers that you have and capture more and bring them back in and now you have a bigger fleet then you continue to do that are there times you're going to have casualties or you're going to lose a little bit of money like i said with the stop losses absolutely that's the name of the game that's the insurance policy because you want to protect yourself so you don't have one of those catastrophic failures but capital preservation is the key when you see great profit staring you in the face guys and it's gone straight up like this for the last few days you know that's the time to use those trailing stop losses and lock in that profit when i first got into this space like i said it was in early 2017 i think april or may I got into Litecoin. It was about $35 or $40. I was a part of that huge spike all the way up. And at the time, I had never traded anything before in terms of charts or stock or anything like that. I heard about Litecoin. I thought it could be a good investment. Wanted to get in, wanted to hold it. But what happened was I held through that whole parabolic cycle. And then once we started to get on that backside there and I was reading more about how to take profits and do all this stuff, then I started taking my profits. And I'm thankful I got in when I got in because I know there's some people who were buying at the very top of that and then they've hodled and held all the way through that bear market for over two years now guys and that's what you don't want to do you do not want to hodl through a bear market if you're in an uptrend and we're in a bull market hodling's fine and buy more on the dips but you don't want to buy the dips when we're in that downtrend because price is going to continue down and that's where you draw that trend line and have it act as resistance for you and you'll see a lot of the times you'll have those reactions back up to it and then it will fall back down reaction fall back down that's where you're having lower highs and lower lows so you want to hodl when you're in those uptrends that's the time but always use those trailing stop losses guys that's the best thing that i can tell you because in terms of unrealized profits I saw it go all the way up and then I saw it start to just crash back down and I should have taken my profits and I want you all to learn from that as we start this next we're in that short term moving to intermediate term bull market and we're trying to get it into that longer term bull market but always go off 
price action first. That's the number one thing I can tell you. Don't just buy something because the RSI is at 10 and you're saying, oh, it's extremely oversold. Wait for that recovery to start again. So you start building some strength and then hop in and play that reaction. That's what I like to do at least. But, you know, guys, there's just so many things that I've learned over the last two years. And, you know, I'm grateful that I learned all these things. And, you know, looking back now, yeah, could I have taken a lot better profit? Absolutely. But because of that situation, I've learned so much more. And now I have that experience. I've been through a full bull market in crypto. I've been through a full bear market in crypto. And now I have that experience and I want to share it with you guys. So if you get some from these videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless each and every one of you. I got to get to my next client here. We got about eight inches of snow out here. So I got to leave a little bit earlier than I typically would in between clients. But look for another video today, guys. I might do one on XRP or LTC or potentially Bitcoin, all three of them together. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to try to get to it if I can. God bless you all. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Take care, my friends.